Hello, friends, and welcome back to Connected Planet Learning Tips, Tricks, and Talk. Today, our question is, should I school from home? And before I answer that question, I would like to kind of clarify what the difference is between schooling from home and homeschooling. So when we're talking about schooling from home, typically people kind of blend that in their minds with homeschooling and they are not one in the same depending on what curriculum, what program you choose. So if you choose to enroll in an online public school, for example, K-12 or Connections Academy or any of the ones that are out there at the moment, you are actually enrolling in a public school that for your convenience allows you to school your student from home. However, the same requirements of attendance and class connections and those kinds of things still apply. Your student cannot, um, just be gone for a month and not do any school unless you've gotten ahead in your schoolwork or that you have a plan to catch up. So when you are schooling from home in an online public school, you have to keep in mind that your attendance has to be taken every day. Your student needs to log in and complete all of their assigned schoolwork for that day in order to remain in that online public school setting where you're schooling from home. If you don't meet those requirements, eventually the school will have to tell you that you, you have to either fix that or you need to find a district school that you can actually take your student to that's a brick and mortar school. And that's really because they're dictated by the districts and they need to make sure that your student is getting the education that, um, that they are providing, that they're supposed to be providing for you. So that is public schooling from home. If you're homeschooling, what that actually means is that you've probably enrolled in a online um, private school of some sort. And that means you're paying a tuition for it. And you're, you're schooling from home depending on how that curriculum is also set up. Now you may have certain dates that you can start, certain dates that you need to end and things like that. But typically when you're homeschooling, you kind of get to choose how it's going to work for you. But at the same time, you're also more accountable for your students learning. Um, you can choose your own curriculum if you want to, if your state allows that. You can also just enroll in the private school and they will send you the materials. So I would like to just make sure that we have that distinction. When you're schooling from home though, the one thing that is the same between schooling from home in a public school and homeschooling is that you are essentially providing an education for your student in your home or at someone's home. And you are agreeing that you're going to be there responsible for ensuring that they get the education that they need through the curriculum that's being provided. So I hope that clears it up. So, um, so as we're talking about schooling from home, these are the considerations that you would have if you are also homeschooling. Um, so kind of pros and cons, just things to think about. Now, one thing that is really, really important when you're deciding whether you want to school from home is time. Does the adult who will be responsible for taking care of helping the student with their learning have the time in the day to, to support and facilitate and encourage the academic growth of that student. Can a schedule be created if that person is working from home where there's a lot of time for work and then there's a lot of time for school? And that's really probably one of the biggest hurdles with schooling from home is making sure that there is that one person who is always available to support the student. Um, the other component to think about is that many people choose to school from home because maybe someone in the family has a medical condition and it's just safer for them to be at home or maybe they've even been bullied in the past in a public school. And so you choose to school from home so that they're in an environment where they're safe and um, able to continue learning and grow academically at home. One little reminder is that you do not have to have a lot of money to school from home. You can enroll in a public online school and that is tuition free. 
If you do choose to go with a private school, there will be tuition involved. So that's something to keep in mind when you are um, considering what school you would like to enroll in. Another really important thing to consider is, do I have a space where my student will be able to um, learn? Do they have like a, a small corner of the room or something where they can have their desk and they can have their computer or the books or do their artwork and kind of make a mess? Do I have a special place where my student can learn that is, you know, conducive to learning? Um, obviously, if, if they're in a place where they're all squished and they're not able to feel like they can really learn and focus on learning, then are you able to set up a place where they can focus on learning? Another consideration is that if you choose to school your student from home and you're not able to then enroll in sports at school, um, some districts will allow you to take some kind of sports or health classes or a few things like that, some of those extracurricular activities, and you might be able to enroll your student there for those. I did that when I had was homeschooling or schooling from home, um, my students, and I just enrolled them in PE and health classes at at the district school, and that was allowed in Indiana. I do not know if all states allow that, but that's a consideration. And if you can't, and your student is really a sports fan, what are your options? Do you have options for a club or something like that? So something to keep in mind about your student's personality and the kind of interests they have. Um, and last but not least, do you have the time to provide those extra things that a student might need and i'm not talking about material things but that extra time to go to the park and to get out and go on a field trip to the fire station to um, you know kind of help them get to know their neighborhood take them out of the house really do those things that enrich their lives as well um, and and really just help build that relationship with you and them so I hope that helps as you're thinking about um, schooling from home or not schooling from home. Um, if you have any additional questions, I may have made you think of more questions than answered as many questions as you might have had. Um, but if you do think of any other questions or any comments or any um, suggestions of what else you would like me to talk about, you can email me at connectedplanetlearning at gmail.com and we will continue this conversation. Um, I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.